all the world to stage. And all the men and women, nearly players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being seven ages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. Then the lover sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow. Then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard. Jealous Nonna, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice in fair round belly with good cape on lined. With eyes severe and beard of formal cut. Full of wise sores and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon. With spectacles on nose and pouch on side. His youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank. And his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble. Pipes and whistle in his sound. The last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful history is the second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth. Sans eyes. Sans taste. Sans everything. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep, to say we end the heartache. And the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. To sleep. Perchance to dream. <laughs> ah. There's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. When we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. <laughs> Who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. The proud man's consumely. The pangs of despised love. The law's delay. In the insolence of office. And the spurns the patient merit of the unworthy take. When he himself might his cry to mate with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear? To grunt and sweat under a weary life. But that the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns. Puzzles the will. And makes us rather bear those ills we have. Than flight others that we know not of. And thus conscience makes cowards of us all. And thus... The native view of resolution is sickle though with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pitch and moment. With disregard, the currents turn awry. And lose the name of action. Our revels now are ended. These are actors. As I foretold you, we're all spirits. And are melted into air. Into thin air. Hands like the baseless fabric of this vision. 
the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself. Yea, all which it inherit shall dissolve. And like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep.